Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Welcome my hat again, the sardine hat. <laughs> the Portuguese uh, sardine that we do uh, celebrate a lot here in Lisbon. And uh, today, um, let's just be, make, make it um, a bit bigger, <laughs> the sardine hat. So, now that we've seen it, um, let's, let's do another video. Uh, but this time with a little twist, so instead of just going over and spending resources on upgrading Titan's uh, levels, we have a surprise here. Today is the day that I'm finally going to upgrade my Titan artifacts. At least uh, some of it. So, it's been months and months and months that I uh, saw discussions, uh, did math, pondered, and cautious, I was thinking, ah, I should go this route, should go this other route. And I'm pleased to say that I finally decided on a route. Uh, it will not please everyone. I'm sure many people will say that they wish I would do another route, that wish that I would do other titans, that I'm making a mistake. But uh, it's my account, it's my mistakes my um, decisions so this is what I will do so I will start with <laughs> summoning this I will not split this into separate videos I will just summon this now and we'll oh before we look into that into summoning the the big money blue balls or the elemental spheres let's look into what I have currently uh, stockpiled because that's interesting to to look at so we have as we can see here, um, between 500 and 700 uh, for each of the elemental uh, fragments. And then we have um, around 2200 to 2500 of the seals and crowns. Okay? So we have those numbers. And I don't know if those summoning uh, elemental spheres gives us any other things i think not but just to be sure so we have um where are they we have here uh 480,000 uh, uh fairy dust and 40 almost 44,000 hydra coins uh, i don't think those give those but anyways i will will have the chance to check here anyways we have here in the in the elemental in the altar of elements we have here more so yeah we can get fairy dust and hydra coins okay so we have that settled we also can get horns so we have between 500 and 700 of each of these fragments and we have 2200 between 2000 2200 and 2500 of each of these crowns and uh, seals so and 44,000 <laughs> of these and 408,000 of these. Let's open this. Hi. So slow and so much spam. Will it crash? Let it count. Let it count. <laughs> so I put my net on the sea and I got me a whole bunch of seals <laughs> not the seals from the sea <laughs> I, <o> <laughs> I hope I hope you enjoyed this the joke <laughs> so let's see um essentially I in some cases double the fragments in other cases uh, triple the amount of fragments I have let's look let's look so um it will be quite hard to see. I'm not even going to try, but it will be quite hard to to uh, add up all this. Oh, I didn't check the the horns, but that's easy. I had only one um, horn that I had received somewhere. So yeah, we could be looking here for horns. So we can just go lazy and and check. Let's check now what we have on the inventory. Let's see, let's see. So, inventory in here. So, coins. So, we had 40 
um, three, close to 44,000 either coins. Now we have almost 120,000. So that's times three, right? That's times three. That's cool. Um, the dust, not so much. We got, uh, let's say, roughly uh, 50, 58 or something. So, ah, calculations, calculations. So, 464 minus 408, 56. 56,000 dust. Not really uh, that much compared to what I had, but still, big amount. Okay, and this one really um, triple, right? 40,000. We tripled that. And uh, now the fragments. So, as we see here, uh, these ones we tripled. We tripled these ones. Uh, how do you, uh, I don't think it was showing or the maths are a bit different than I expected, but anyways, we we basically tripled almost everything. We tripled the the water fragment, we tripled most of, no, some, not really all of them, but um, some of them we tripled for the fire fragments, so the others we a bit more than doubled, and for the earth we doubled, more or less. And then these ones, remember we had 2,200, between 2,200 and 2,500, now we have 5,700, <laughs> so we doubled those. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> upgrades. <laughs> and man, now I have 62 million gold. I, uh, oops, wrong, wrong place. I specifically saved up for this day. A lot of gold. A lot of gold. And I was thinking, I will go for Angus and Hyperion for um, upgrading their their artifacts. That's one thing that I decided. I'm deciding also starting with Angus because he's in the front line, and I want to make him um, more resilient so that he can protect the other Titan. So make Angus first stronger. Then um, let's see. To which level should I stop developing the artifacts and then jump to another um, titan? So that magic number, and I hope I can show here. That magic number is um let's see how can I do this? Not really like this. <laughs> I'm just crapping up <laughs> wrong wrong things. I should have prepared this before. Ah uh, yeah, there it is, the window capture. Um so that number um should be around fifty five. So I hope you can see this. And I'm going to zoom in. So this table has for the defense seals for Hero Wars Mobile, it has uh, the required um, powder, gold, and emeralds for uh, each uh, level of, a def of one defensive seal for one Titan and the uh, resulting uh, improvement in this case in physical attack but also in health there um, next to it uh, for each uh, star rank comparing to the level so if we aim for 45 this is what we're getting here on the on the right so um, not much physical attack uh, but Let's put it this way. So, between 45 and 55, we, uh, well, let's say almost double the um, the bonuses for, so 55 and 45, these ones, we almost double 
if we do if we do uh, um, 59 uh, 60 if we do 60 we, we double uh, the bonuses we just a 10 level a uh, difference so that's where I'm getting so I will aim for 55 and essentially um, spend 55 in one Titan on one artifact then go to another Titan and then artifact and rinse and repeat so this mat up to um, level 55 here uh, so roll 57 apparently uh, will cost us okay, if I'm doing things correctly will cost us uh, 6 million gold so I have 60 million so I can do quite a lot of stuff here but that's the anyways the mat let's uh, move on to doing things picking here uh, Angus and now which artifact specifically so I talked about the defensive uh, seals I believe the uh, that's what I'm planning to to do but the thing is is that the cost for uh, any of these is is exactly the same I'll show you again here so we have defensive seals we have the uh, balance seals we have the attack seals we have we have the crowns we have the weapons so all the seals cost the same the crowns uh, they cost a little bit more so instead of six and a half million they will cost seven million two hundred thousand for um, the same level and the weapons will cost slightly less than the crowns but a bit more slightly more than the seal so 6.8 million so it's very feasible okay so which ones we will start we'll start with the defensive seals because they increase physical attack and health as for the crowns they add extra damage and extra defense but that depends on the teams you are fighting oh sorry I wasn't showing this so defensive seals physical attack and health for every Titan you see here uh, the crowns will uh, boost the, the extra damage and defense uh, against uh, other elements but it really depends on which teams you are fighting so you can be stronger versus certain teams and weaker versus other depending on your Titans and their Titans and then the the artifact weapon depends depends on every Titan so in the case of Angus will increase his physical attack in case of Hyperion will increase his alpha gen and the um, the one for Moloch extra damage to Earth Titans and Sigurd also health regen. So Sigurd and uh, and um, Iperion will give you health regen for the team. And then there's extra defense on Ignis, which is funny because he, he he boosts damage for the team. Then we have extra damage to fire teams from from Nova side. We have extra damage to Earth Titans from from Araji. We have extra defense from Water Titans for Eden and that makes sense because his skills are more defensive and then health regen on Avalon that's the counterpart for for the earth titans physical attack on Mary so weird because it's more defensive physical attack on Vulcan and extra defense from water titans so essentially we have three titans doing health regen so Avalon, Hyperion and Sigurd and the others are a mix of extra damage extra defense physical attack physical attack I think only present on Angus actually I see I see now also in Mary in, in Mary Mary and also Vulcan so uh, of course most teams will not have a uh, Vulcan or, or Mary and they will be composed of different Titans that I've approached in, in other videos and of all the, the the most popular titans angus is the only one giving physical attacks so of course we will touch this but we will start first with the defensive seals because those are more generic always active whereas the weapons they need to fire first so oh forgot my camera <laughs> hello <laughs> so let's start now with the upgrading so 62 million 464,000 um, fairy dust after getting 56,000 last time and let's start upgrading yay there we go oh we also get oh I forgot about this we also get the sparks sparks I, I had um, just to 
check a bit. Uh, last video I had uh, 80,000 or 82,000, something like that. And then I got a bit more and now at, at uh, close to 100,000. Okay. And let's try to remember that to see how much we can get from upgrading the Titans. So, uh, wrong place, wrong place here in the altar. No, uh, no, I was in the right place. <laughs> Sorry for that. <laughs> Titan artifacts, Angus. And now uh, defensive seal. Let's go, let's go. I push this button. So let's stop at 45 and take note of the bonuses compared to the table. And then we jump to 55 and we see how much resources we have spent by then. See, the emerald cost is rising and it's obscene. Uh, comparing to browser, so like here. Each each level here starts at thirty six and browser starts at something like um, like two emeralds six emeralds uh, it's a very small amount so it's it's obscene two hundred and ten emeralds per level <laughs> forget that don't don't do that <laughs> don't be don't be uh, crazy nuts with this it's just a waste trust me trust me. Waste of money, waste of resource. Just, just do it slowly and um, controllably. <laughs> Everything takes time in life, so just. Uh, oops, I already jumped the mark. I was distracted. So, anyways, we got to fifty-five. So it's, uh, it's okay. We can compare to what we have here. It's the same. Fifty-five, and we are getting. Uh, Defensive seals, and we are getting a boost of 1450 physical attack, so it matches, and 80,000 health, and it matches. Okay, so the table is correct. So, uh, this is one. Oh, I didn't, I didn't show you guys, but I did in the previous video. My Titan power was. Titan team power was at 230k after jumping 15k from 215. So let's jump to the next one. We'll actually, I want to see how much difference first this meant for um, for Angus. So Angus, 54,000. I think it was around the same power as uh, Iperion there. Well, we didn't see before, but we can now see for Hyperion. Hyperion is at 53 and 808. So let's push that for Hyperion. Right. We already spent some gold, as you can see there. Some gold evaporated as well as some fairy dust. Let's go. And no point spending, uh, stopping at spending till 45. We'll just go to 55. Okay. So we stop at 55. Also uh, for Hyperion, uh, much like uh, Eden. I'm um, sorry, Angus. And uh, that gives us the the blue um, artifact level. And now we check on powers. But I think the as they had mentioned on other comments that I saw, the the power differences are very small. So here fifty four three seven one, and here fifty four two six nine. So very very uh, small differences, like four hundred or less than four hundred power. All right, uh, we have the stats here. And our physical attack and health here increased as well as in here. By by not comparing is not that that big number. So we have seven million health and two hundred forty five attack. So just a small bump, one thousand four hundred fifty, and health eighty thousand. So it really doesn't means a lot. Not at least until you do another thing, okay? Until you do 
the um, oops not here until you do the um, evolution of the artifacts okay so now we do the second phase we have two uh, developed 255 and now we push the evolution so I didn't really do math for this and um, we don't know how much we can push here but let's start and see where it goes okay so we push one to to two stars and we push three stars okay let's now push the other one to two stars as well now uh, what this means it means it means instead of um, 1450 physical attack we are supposed to be getting 1740 physical attack correct and instead of 80,000 something health we are getting 96,000 health okay so slightly better well these resources will exhaust quick and we have to make decisions but before that let's also push now uh, the weapon artifacts because that's the second thing that I think is um, most worth it but we'll see first let's see here in the table let's show the table again I have my camera and show the table so we see here the weapons um, and now we have to look for physical attack in the case of um, in the case of um, Angus so Angus level 5 as it is now gives a boost of 182 if we push this to 55 it will boost 2000 yes very slight increase <laughs> still but consider this that every skill uses um, physical attack is only one thing here it, it is physical attack for titans it, it uses the physical attack to to increase the damage so this will boost the, the base physical attack or stacking on top of the other so that's one route uh, increasing increasing the physical attack here and we also have the the fragments for this for uh, also for the crowns we, we have the fragments we have a lot of fairy dust still um, the gold is running out and we have more titans that we could be upgrading as well so we have to wonder um, how bad should we go for um, these two or jump to others for the weapon or should we do first the seals for everyone and then do the weapons uh, that's a tricky question um in the end i think um uh, let's see uh angus can ultimate at least once in the fight but he might die even before ultimating so it could be a uh, kind of um, kind of mis a mistake to to put uh, development here and uh, Hyperion is, it can last longer and it will increase the health regen for the whole group but then this is a very small I see health regen the health regen for for Hyperion would be in this case just um, 1759 or 2000 with the 3 stars and so let's hide the spreadsheet and so it wouldn't be that much of uh, of an increase i mean is his skill which can fire one two three times in a fight depending on uh, how the fight goes will do uh, 755,000 okay the healing is only 2000 at level 55 so kind of a bit meaningless i think i think the the answer here is to go uh, with the the seals for all the titans all the the main titans <laughs> that's it that's it 
So we did these two, and let's now push. Um, let's now push a Raji, all right. So this is my way of thinking. This. Let's push a Raji. I hope I'm not terribly wrong, but I really don't see um, other meaningful ways. I think first the seals, then you can argue just do uh, the seals for two titans or three titans and make those two um, max level, spend 196 million <laughs> gold, or you can uh, start developing those that matter the most and go from there. I think I like that option better, the spending not too much resources and try to aim for the sweet spot. So uh, 55 can be a sweet spot, uh, we can also explore a little bit higher, like, I don't know, level 70, something like that, but we'll see. Now we have three titans at 55 and uh, we can do this as well. And then, I hope you guys aren't getting bored with this, but really, um, this is a bit of planning at the same time that I'm doing the upgrade. And then, um, we have Agnes and Nova. So, I don't think they uh, need as much uh, these resources uh, as, the other, as the other Titans. So, my, my approach would be would be to consider if I could do, for example, now um, in, in, in additional uh, evolution, but now the cost can be quite quite high. So I have um, 4,500, and if we divide by 1,500, that means I can only bring three uh, artifacts, three seal artifacts, so it's the um, ring, version of the titans to uh, three stars okay so that's that's all we can do here um or i can get more um titans to three stars and not upgrade uh, any of them to four stars okay well decisions so i've spent 20 million, about 20 million. Okay, I'll go purely on intuition and we will do all of them, all of the main ones, to 55 seal. I guess that's the best I can think of. And then we can evaluate. Um, things a little bit better. So we have Agnes, now we will have also Nova. And remember, we still can uh, spend resources on other artifacts, like the, the weapons, but the gold is really um, draining really fast. So now we are uh, close to half gold spent. And we still have a lot of dust. We only spent about 50,000 dust. And we now spent half the gold. So there we go. Um, I think this to be meaningful, uh, we should really boost a little bit the, the evolution. So we can get, uh, similar to the other ones, we can get um, about 2,200 physical attack and 70,000 health. That's really not that big of a <laughs> difference. <laughs> what would we get if we did the four stars? So 500 more, 18,000 more. I think that's more meaningful. I think that's more meaningful. So we will do Angus to four stars to keep him alive longer. Now we cannot push any further. 
I think I'm more confident with this. So we push that one, and uh, I'm gonna push now Hyperion. And let's see. Um, I will push Araji for more damage. And now whatever is left, I can put on Agnes, keep him alive longer, and Nova. So I think you guys should do something like I'm doing now. Now the question is Nova or Agnes? Last time I checked, there's no Titan that targets specifically the backline, so we will do Nova. Because she's the second in line in my team composition. So, that's it for the seals. I can take my hat off. <laughs> because I finally did something meaningful with my resources, my Titan resources. And um, now we still have 30 million gold, 400,000 dust. And now we can think about, should we be doing... Ah, also one thing to consider, did we develop enough titans for the dungeon so that they can um, help me in every possible situation? So we have Angus developed, great, will help the herd titans. We have uh, two water titans developed, great, and we have two fire titans developed, great. So I don't think I will be putting any resource anytime soon in terms of artifacts into specifically titans for the other elements that those would be the, f the titan, titan tanks those would be the first option or any of the other including hidden uh, titans so now I think um, the question is should I continue developing the ones that I already have at 55 for the defensive seal or should I start boosting the, the weapon artifact so let's do a quick math here what would it cost us to go from uh, 55 Seal, for example, for example, 65, 10 level. I don't think that's a fair um, amount of levels. So we will change this formula and start. From 55 here. So the math we, we had there, um, by the way, was uh, the 6... Uh, Six around six million, six um, million and almost two hundred thousand, and we go now from this math to this one here. How much can we get with this? And for what price? We can get for the price of four point five million. So our expense per titan will increase from six million to ten million basically and, and a bit more and we will get um, seven hundred more on uh, star one or um, like nine hundred more on star three and star four one thousand more so mm, I don't know it's not a big big boost but then but then, the weapon artifacts, I mean, they don't give a much boost either. <laughs> you remember those numbers we saw there? So, uh, I mean, fifty-five, two thousand physical attack, two thousand alpha gen. Those are so small numbers compared to the damage they do already so I'm more inclined to go for the defensive seals and then we do have the uh, the resources here to boost uh, all these um, all these uh, evolutions oh, one thing to consider of course I mean, it doesn't make sense to bo to improve this if then it doesn't trigger all the time, right? So I think we can can, can start with that to see where we can go. So now uh, forty percent, and now a hundred percent. Okay, so this is this is feasible. 
okay then we have uh, Iperion here so I think this is the way we should approach this start start checking start doing the seal and then start checking if the fragments you have uh, can can make you get the 100% chance if not then it's not really worth um, even putting resources in there so uh, so far I can get I didn't mean to do that <laughs> for most but the this um, these weapon fragments are individual for each titan so it doesn't matter but it seems like uh, here I cannot even get to three stars and it, think it seems like I cannot get to four stars in any titan okay so the closest to that probably oh Mary Av um Mary Eden Moloch Sigurd Nova that's all uh, those are the closest but still very long way I mean the even the one that is closest is um oh no wait Eden is uh, not even <laughs> three stars <laughs> so uh, like 300 like Sigurd here and Moloch 355 out of 1,007. This will take forever. <laughs> so, four stars is a long way. And now for the mm, for the crowns. Oops, for the crowns, I think it's the same logic. You do first the the main titans. So I would get here three stars. I would push also here for Iperion with three stars. I will move to Nova three stars. Then a Raji, an Ignis, Agnes. <laughs> then everything else is secondary, and then you can see what other um, things you can push. So I would say push uh, now on 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 Angus, and in my case, um, to make him survive longer. And then I would push Iperion. And then I don't have enough anymore for water titans, but I have for fire, so I can push here. Oh, I can I can push one more. That's cool. We push one more, and and that's it. The rest doesn't really matter for me at this moment. But just to see, uh, so hurt, we still have uh, almost three k fire 200 and water 1400 yeah so that I made his jump there but uh, is it worth it the crowns let's check the crowns as well the uh, crowns are always uh, active right so it doesn't it doesn't matter if you ultimate or not from fifth but it depends because <laughs> on the other thing that is only effective to certain titans Certain uh, Titan elements, but the increase would be um, to to forty five would be at one star two hundred two thousand and eight hundred at three stars would be three thousand and four hundred at four stars four thousand and two hundred for um, Angus extra damage and extra defense. Is the same no uh, no the numbers are different numbers numbers are are about about half so anyways uh very at at the moment a very small amount I guess we can push a little bit until it gets a bit costly so let's start pushing here I'm gonna estimate um how was it? The cost. So to fifty five the cost is seven million and let's say to to 
45 3 million that's uh, feasible and then to let's say 35 something like that 1 million so we have 30 million I think we can spend a little bit here but not too much so that we have resources for things that are more important with this we're already at 40 minutes mark I mean <laughs> we're quite a bit more than I anticipated so we'll stop at I don't know 30 35 we'll stop here 30 okay for now water crowns so this will give us a, a little extra boost without pushing too much our resources just um, publish it again not 35 but 30 would be uh, just 1 million and 300 thousand so so if we do this for for uh, um, five ties titans that's six and a half million considering the goal that I still have it's it's feasible so we push that this is always active uh, although only um, effective against certain elements and then we can think about how much we can improve the weapon artifacts if at all so I'm in the end opting for the more or less even out every titan but put more resources I think I will still put more resources on the main titan the in this case uh, the tank and one super and and then a little twist a bit more on certain uh, titan artifacts but so more for the rings less for the books so let's see physical attack so with with we thought we could do something like 45 so 55 is 6.8 million right oh let's see 45 And the 45 is 3.4 million. How much gold do we have for that? Enough for seven titans. Okay, let's push this. To 40, 45. And then we can we can put more into into uh, Angus afterwards. Or we can even say we're gonna stop here at 45. We can push a bit more here to 35 and make a beautiful number for OCD suffering people. And we will push here to 40. Uh, Anxious to see how much sparks did we get. I don't think we got much sparks. And check afterwards what resources remain. And the power levels, of course. Gold is evaporating very quickly. Uh. Uh. 
right let's reload this give it time to sort the new titans again and let's go there so we have let's recap resource at, um, titan artifact resources put into five titans only one tank two supers and one support and one damage dealer so two earth two to water to fire and one earth titans and we have level 55 for uh, the seal of every titan of those five titans giving physical attack and health and four of those four stars and one of those three stars then we have the crowns which give um defensive and damage bonuses to certain elements depending on the titan and we have um, all of them except nova at four stars level 34 all of them except angus at 35 and then we have um all of them at three stars for the weapon artifact all of them are level 40 except angus level 45 and the titan artifacts weapon artifacts they give different bonuses so for angus is physical attack for hyperion it's um health regen this is 100 percent of the time for nova will be extra damage to fire titans for araji extra damage to earth titans and agnes extra defense from earth titans okay now we can think about what we can do with the remaining gold which is not too too much now it's only 10 million so I would say we can put, uh, let's see, something like either five levels or something like that for each seal. How much that would cost? Again, let's see. Um, fifty-five to sixty seems like a reasonable amount. That would cost two million and three hundred thousand for each Titan. So that's almost enough. Or we can just dump more and more into Angus because he's in the front. I think we'll opt for that without even doing much math here. So push to sixty. And we can also push a bit these ones. Right. <coughs> and I think I'll push now um Hyperion. So basically so if you guys have different opinions voice them and educate me i'm just figuring out on my own what i should do here but by all means educate me so i'll push here a bit on the weapon and here these ones are not really that that big so it's probably not the best idea but anyway i've done a bit here and i think the rest i'll save up because i'm not sure one way i want to spend that gold um I'm running now low on gold, so I'll keep the rest of the gold. So let's recap now um, power levels and things like that. I don't expect to have grown much. I've grown only 5k roughly since the art Titan artifact increases. And uh, let's see what resources are left. So we have uh, still these uh, 120,000 uh, coin, Hydra coin. We have uh, less 100,000 or so dust. And we have a lot less gold <laughs> because I've spent more than 55,000. And the fragments, we should have about 300 uh, and less for each. Yeah, earth, I have quite less than fire than water and these ones they are still have quite a bit but 
they have they have decreased well that's it first video i do for about um titan oops titan artifact it was exhausting i hope you got a bit more sense of what to do with your uh, titans and your titan artifacts and i hope this uh, helped uh, achieve that i did help educate you on that i see you all somewhere and have a great day everyone and please leave a subscribe like a comment that will be deeply appreciated i'll see you around bye bye cheers